Hey guys, so today we're gonna be talking about this effect, which is a volumetric 3D cloud effect for uh, for mobile. So you can just, the character can step into it and it just, it works. <laughs> So, uh, if you haven't watched the video that was previously uh, explaining everything the, about the fundamental effect, fundamental material that's needed for it, there's there's a link around here. Just go ahead and click on that, and uh, I am explaining everything in that video in detail. So, if you have any questions or if you want to know anything, that that video is a way to start this video. But I will be showing you how to do things in this video as well. I'm just not gonna explain it, that's all. Um, so let's go ahead and in our material, I've already opened it here. So this is the base material that uh, was created previously. The blending mode is uh, additive and the shading mode is on lit and it's two-sided. The pixel depth just Pixel depth goes into the multiply, as you can see here, and then comes to, into the divide and hold S on your keyboard for a scalar parameter and name it something and the default value is 0 0.2, 0 0.2. And then it goes into a clamp, just type in clamp and there you go. Uh, and then this one right here comes into the multiply. Multiply is hold M on your keyboard and then left click, gives you the multiply node. Then this one, uh, we have a Fresnel here, Fresnel right here. Uh, hold S on your keyboard again for these two scalar parameters, exponent and refraction, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, and then one minus. Uh, so coming here, one minus this one here, uh, and then an absolute, abs. And then a power node with a gradient power, which is a scalar parameter. Hold S and type in scalar parameter with the value of 3.164. And it all goes into the multiply here. And then we clamp it out, comes to the multiply with the scalar parameter called opacity. And then, so in the base material, this one would go into the opacity, but this is something else that we are uh, right now using for the for the whole effect too. Um, it's not that hard to be honest. So just go ahead and add a multiply and then come in here, another multiply. A color, hold three on your keyboard and left click and right click, convert to parameter, name it something as I name it, named it color. And then another scalar parameter, hold S and scalar parameter call it glow intensity or whatever you want to call it, then coming into the multiply. Um, then this is one minus, remember this is one minus, one minus. And then coming to the sphere mask, just type in sphere mask, I have it right here. And then a pixel depth into the A and then a scalar parameter with the default value of zero into the B. No, it's just a, a scalar value, it's not a parameter. Um, and this one goes into the emissive color. As for the opacity, this is new. This is something that I want to talk about right now. We multiply the whole thing that we have in here with this one. So this is the node that I want to talk about. It's called Flickbook. So we have a texture here. I will be um, including the texture in the description so you can download it. Or if you want to, I will be talking about it in a future episode about how to create this texture inside Unreal Engine. Because in Unreal Engine 5, you have the ability to um, to create a Niagara smoke and it's wonderful. It looks gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So you can just create it out and then you can create a flipbook out of it, which is insane. I've created this flipbook some months ago in Houdini and I'm still using it. It looks good. Um, but anyway, I will be including this one so you can just download it from the description. This is just a flipbook, an 8x8 flipbook, just an animation that repeats 
repeats, repeats all over again. Um, we are going to drag that uh, texture into this scene like this. And then what we're going to be using is a flipbook. So coming from UV flipbook. The number of rows and columns, as I told you, are eight by eight. So eight by eight. We already have the texture, so we don't really need that. Um, must be in the UVs. We could do it like that, or we could come here, right click, uh, texture object, and then texture 2D. Both would work, doesn't really matter. Then we'll be going to use a time node for this one, time. And then this one just makes it a little bit slower because as you can see, let me show you. This is too fast, but if we multiply it by some value, probably like 0.3, it's lower. Okay, so and there you go, there you have it. We can, doesn't matter. You can either have it by the UVs or you can have it uh, as a texture object, doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead and hit apply and see what we have here. Um, so first of all, what you have to do is right click and create a material instance. I've already created one and these are the default values I am using. The distances, I mean, just go ahead and if you want to, I mean, I'd recommend you go ahead and play around with the values and try to find your own value. That would be like the most optimal way to do it. But anyway, if you want to copy everything I have here, there you go, you have it. You can just pa pause the video and then copy everything. Um, so the effect works, but the only thing that you need to pay attention to is that it only works on a, um, on a sphere, not a cube, not a, not any other shape. I mean, it could work, but the UVs will be messed up that if it's, it's working, it's just by luck. You are lucky that it works that way. It is only, um, created to be working on a sphere. So sphere is a way to go. If, if you want to have something like this, probably you can, or with a different texture, maybe you go ahead and create your own flipbook and add two different textures, one here, one in the above, and then you can just add these two together. add these two together and then with different times, different textures, you can do a lot of different things with it. But you need to pay attention to the cost as well. This has a cost. On modern devices, it's not really that bad, but in older devices, it can cost something like five milliseconds. So you need to care about that as well. If you are using, if you are going to use this uh, feature in your game, you have to be um, giving the option to the user to have the ability to just turn it off if they want to, if they don't like the performance cost or the look of it. But um, that's all I wanted to say, and I hope this video helped. And if it did help, please hit that like button. Have a great day. Bye.